Welcome back. More news at the Sawa. Let's uh, take you back to uh, Nazrik, where the ANC Women's Day Conference is underway. SABC News reporter Natasha Piri is standing by with the latest update from Nazrik. A very good afternoon to you, Natasha. Thank you for, for joining us. I mean, we understand that voting is concluded. Perhaps you can give us an indication as to when we can expect the announcement of the new leadership at large. Well, definitely, Lisa. Good afternoon to you. And of course, to our SABC viewers, voting has concluded. Um, counting was expected to be done around uh, 1 p.m. as per um, our conversation with Kusela Diko earlier on. And of course, there was subsequently uh, that message and that communique saying that ANC President Sil Ramaphosa would be addressing delegates at 4 p.m. But this is not the case. And, you know, it's quite concerning. Um, this We're in a race against time right now because, remember, delegates delegates still have to go to their various respective provinces. They've checked out of their hotel rooms, but also the issue of uh, the nomination, the election of the additional 40 members. And that is quite a lengthy process, as you would understand that some, uh, you know, delegates would be nominated from the floor. So this is a process that we're talking could actually take one hour to two hours. Then, uh, you know, the nomination, the voting process still has to happen. So it is expected that uh, they won't be announced here. Uh, Lisa will probably be announced at a later stage but of course also the issue of those draft policy documents finalizing that as well uh, will not be taking place uh, later on today but instead will rather be taking place uh, virtually as was uh, communicated by Ukusela Diko earlier on. So right now honestly uh, delegates, some delegates are still behind um, uh, plenary, if I'll just step out of the shot and show you what's going on, some, dele some delegates actually coming out of the plenary, some are actually walking back, but it really is an indictment on the ANC Women's League as to, you know, the late start of conference. We've seen this play out before at um, the National Conference last year, the elective conference in December last year, and it seems as if this is nothing new. I mean, all the leagues similarly have this uh, the same problem. You saw this, uh, we saw these scenes playing out at the ANC Youth League Conference and still here at the a ANC Women's League Conference. And one would expect, because the ANC Women's League is so organized, an organized structure, uh, you know, you'd expect that uh, everything would be smooth sailing and everything would actually happen on time. But unfortunately, it's a waiting game. We do ex anticipate, hopefully, um, expect that the president will be addressing delegates around 7 p.m. Natasha, thank you for that context, because we also, you know, obviously looking at what these delays mean for the perception of what has transpired for the Women's League perhaps for the ANC at large. And, and at this point, given the delays and some of the, the hurdles, really what the mood and atmosphere is like. It's, it's been a long weekend. It really has been a long weekend, Liesl, but the perception is not one um, that's good. I mean, we pose these questions. Um, if the ANC Women's League is actually happy at, you know, uh, the running of this conference, you would know that this conference was actually marred by delays, specifically um, due to registration of the Northwest province. Uh, we got calls uh, saying and alleging that some delegates from the Northwest are actually bogus delegates. Then uh, the news and the issue of those two delegates from the Northwest fighting uh, amongst each other. And of course, we heard the ANC Secretary General Figile Mbalula coming out saying that they would be facing disciplinary um, you know, hearings um, against those two members. Uh, as well as Kusela Adiko actually uh, uttering or reiterating, uh, you know, um, that sentiment. But I mean, it, it really does speak to, you know, what, what's actually happening in the party, uh, the factional battles, the slates that we see in the party, but really is an indictment on the ANC Women's League because this is a structure that says they want to be revived. Remember, there's been that vacuum for eight years. Uh, the last time we encountered an ANC Women's League conference was in 2015. You would expect that the woman of the ANC would be eager, would be, you know, eager to actually get this conference up and running. But what we see from the mother body actually filters down to the various leagues, the ANC Youth League, the ANC Women's League. And it, it'd be quite interesting to see what will happen at the conference of the ANC Veterans League that will be taking place next week. So this is, a, you know, a huge concern for the party and for uh, this league in particular.
Natasha, thank you for that update. We're obviously earnestly monitoring developments as it unfolds. Also wishing you and the team the best of luck as you continue bringing us the latest there with regards to the ANC Women's League that is taking place at NASREC. We're awaiting the announcement of the uh, new leadership for the Women's League. Really, how are they going to reassert themselves into, into um, um, addressing society's needs at large as we're closer to the 2024 elections? Thanks to Natasha for that update.